Hello fellow gamers, Jay Dreamer, and today I am doing an Apache update. So let's kind of take a look at where Apache sits. I've neglected this account really bad, so bear with me while I kind of bring everything up to speed. I've been working on research and I'm kind of stuck a little bit, um, trying to get my footmen and I'm ready to go for my Empire Defender but I have to be at barracks 25. So with barracks 25, um, this requires several storage upgrades. So 110 in food, which I have 106 million as the current cap. So if we go to upgrade it, it requires the storage cap for the food to be 150 million iron and I'm at 121. So I have to upgrade that. Currently I am upgrading the iron. Um, so let's see what my hourly is real quick. So hourly shows technology and research. So it's not a good time for me to do the speed up on that building because I'm in tech. So I've been working on my footman training and my cab training along with my accessory production. Accessory production gives the best points. I have 21.6K in uh, Dragonite. So it looks like I'm pretty good to go. All right, so we're cruising in the hourly. So the thing about doing your um, production, uh, accessory production, I try and don't, I don't do more than I have to. So what I do is I bring certain ones up. So basically I'm going to bring these up to 10, then I'll try and bring these up to 10, then I'll try and bring these up to 10. And as you bring them up, if you hit a, a requirement, it'll make you bump up and, and, and go back to them. So that's kind of how I... I make it tell me where I have to do my work. So I'll give you an example of that. So see how that says level 10. So at level nine, it makes me go back and do this one to level 10. So these are to get my additional workshops. So as you can see, I can get my first additional workshop for being all at level 10 but in order to get the second one i need to be at level 20. so all of these need to be at level 20. so let's see what the cost just to take this one up is All right, so that was pretty excessive. 15 million in hourly, which is the highest requirement. Um, it just so happened to be when I was filming that that's the hourly. Um, and I'm at 18 out of 20 now. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it the rest of the way. And 70 or 3,800 in Dragonite. One day, four hours. All right, so that one's now maxed. So I have to get all of them. And that is how you open up the two additional Dragonite locations. So where are they? Dragonite workshops. Don't forget to grab your uh, Dragonite out of the, uh, the, the fragments out of your Alliance store. And I've been buying war badges. Always need war badges for Lofty. They're, ex they're hard to get, and so might as well always be collecting them out of here. All right, so where am I on gear? So I've got some good, some decent scavenger gear. Dreadnought, I have a almost full set of gold for Dreadnought. Ranger, I ain't got squat. Still Cav, I am working on my first gold set still. And as far as materials go, I'm kind of light, so... You know, I have 177 fragment, 177 K in fragments. And if I go to my backpack, I've got 76 K more. So I have 108 of the chests plus the specialty chests. So that's a good amount of materials, but still I have a long way to go on um, my Dragonite and my gear because I'm only at a level 11 here and a level 14 here, and I only have four of my Dragonite workshops out. 
I haven't been able to open my T9s yet, so I'm still rocking T8s. I've got almost 10 million, and we are currently in Eden. Two minutes on that, one second. Let's see where we are here. And I have used Apache as a banner for my guild this year, um, or this season. So every bit of my uh, specialty has gone towards um, the banner. So basically, footmen strong up here and into the banner. So I, I've been a banner holder the entire season. Uh, being a banner holder makes it hard for um, you to progress when you don't have a lot of uh, spec points. And right now, I don't have the ability to increase my loyalty or increase my processing because I only have um, 52 spec points. So that's a challenge. So we are coming towards the end of the season. And basically, um, I've been focused on completing my um, uh, merit. So all of my merit has been collected and I've maxed out um, the merit. Now I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I keep going and getting as many honor coins as I can from each section. Um, and as I said, all of these are now completely open. So the uh, faction intel is complete. Now I just have to focus on being able to get whatever I can as far as honor tokens out of the merit system. Um, as far as season rewards, I am way down. I'm only at 5,700 for my personal achievement. I'm stuck at not being able to take level 12 tiles because I can't shift over and get enough loyalty and I can't open up enough processing to close the gap on upgrades for my coalition buildings. So it's been tough and, th and that's at this stage of Apache's Eden seasons, the spec points don't allow him to really be versatile He's got to be one thing at a time, and if he's a banner holder, he really is going to struggle at, at increasing his loyalty. So that's one thing as, as you increase your spec, you can start to do more things, um, especially increase your loyalty while holding a banner or have loyalty max while increasing your processing uh, speeds, and that's important uh, for your growth. And... All right, so Eden is done. What is this one? That's a two timers. We like two timers. Um, let's see. I didn't even look. What is right now is crusher enemies, and I'm not. I'm not killing enemies, but I can make troops. So let's go ahead and max out a buff, and let's see where we are on troops. All right, so Cav. And I have 642,000 diamonds, um, so I could just use some diamonds to complete this. All right, wood. And with the upgrades of the iron storage, it took a shit ton of wood. So I'm kind of light on wood. Let's just see how many speed ups I have. Yeah, I've used all my speed ups, so I just need to stay focused on diamonds. Almost, that's that's 100,000. And I've got my eighth chest open um so i need to uh figure out if i can get any more speed ups all right so let's look for some speed ups and the speed ups generally can come from um the balloon that's a great place for them plus these chests so let's take a look at the trading balloon and see what we got no, I don't ever buy wood, uh, food. I don't ever buy food. And I don't spend my charcoal on high items. So like this one's 1 million for wood. I don't spend it there. I only spend my charcoal on gold. Always buy super dragonite. Always buy war badges. All right. We've got more charcoal. That's good. Because charcoal is what you need to upgrade your dragonite workshops. I will always spend food on any resource, any speed up, um, any amount, it doesn't matter. All right, and we're gonna spin this one more time for a thousand diamonds. 
All right, so this is 560K for 250. I'm not worried about buying that. Always spend your distillery L. That's all we got. So let's go over here and see what we can do for training speed ups. All right, so we've run out of speed ups. Back to using diamonds. I have 564K and a long way to go for this final. I'm going to be fine at eight and let's see if we can... Um, this started, let me get this started. So as far as my castle goes, I am currently at level 26. I recently was able to do that. Um, 26 now requires me to get everything up to level 26, uh, trading house, stable, tavern. Um, this is where I'm going to start spending uh, the Orich Calcum. And I have 20,000, which isn't a lot. Um, it will allow me to be strategic in my upgrades um, the stable getting to 26 is good because it gets me at the point where I can have level nine or T9s as long as my research is done. Um, my barracks needs to come up as well. It's currently at 22. So I have to get to barracks 25, stable 26. That's going to take a lot of the Arichium and the upgrades to get there are going to be heavy as well because you have a lot of storage upgrades. I'm not looking to upgrade the castle for a while. Um, most of my upgrades will be storage to get this bad boy, the barracks to level 25, so I can open up my T9 research. And the, the stable being already there, which basically, oh, I do have to upgrade the stable still. So let's see what storage requirements I'm gonna have. Wood has to be 150 million, which I have the cap for. I just don't have the wood for it. Um, and if that's to get to level 24, the next upgrade is going to probably be 200 plus, maybe even 300 in wood requirements. So I'm going to need to make sure my farms are gathering wood every single day, all the time, nonstop, in order for me to have enough wood resources to get that to level 25. Let's see, let's see. What else is important for Apache? So we've covered the Dragonite. We've covered accessory production. We've covered research. Um, oh, let's talk heroes. Um, for my heroes, Apache has really struggled. I am barely getting to the point where I have my BRI, which is the Beast Queen, Rosen, Immortal. They are um, not even quite complete. Um, Beast Queen isn't doesn't have her last two skills open. Um, Rosen doesn't have her last two skills open and she still needs to be level 50. And uh, Immortal has his last two skills that need to be opened. Um, so actually three skills. So it's been a struggle. Plus I haven't been able to get really good heroes. Um, it's, I don't know. Heroes, you have to have a good amount of luck. And Apache has not had luck in getting them. Um, and he does, I don't play it enough to always have tickets. So that that's another challenge. Um, as far as the ones that I do have, um, Black Prince is good. Ble Bleeding Steed is good. Skybreaker is good. Um, Desert Storm for Footman. Uh, Hunk for Footman. Brave for Cav. So these are all the ones that I have that I haven't even been able to develop. Um, you know, BRI has been my focus and of course my OGs. So I focused on these three and these three, and that's where I've put most of my effort into building my heroes. So being a banner is probably the best suit for Apache at this point. He's never going to be strong on heroes. Um, he's going to be fast. He's going to be capable of, of supporting, um, the alliance and the guild and that's his role so um with that being said that is the status update of apache um you know it's it's a struggle when you have multiple accounts and apache kind of comes second to j dreamer for me um in time and i've had no time to really invest into um getting apache above the the board of just being a banner but it's been fun and I, it's a good group of people in this state. And, uh, you know, I've given access to my, um, our force so they can maintain 
Apache in Eden and do the things that they need Apache to do. So that's a real quick status update. If you guys have any questions or if you would like to, you know, maybe run these accounts for an Eden season, let me know. Let's have that conversation. Jay Dreamer, I'm out.